Hi, it's Melanie from Work I'm Ready here. I just wanted to walk you through the Fisher & Paykel dishwasher drawers, the dish drawer. Uh, it's pretty simple. So there's two drawers in this one, the bottom one, so they just pull out to open like so. And you can see that your powder goes in here. So you, there's a little, a little lip here. You just push that down to open it and close it and your powder goes in this one. You actually really only need ever to push two teaspoons of powder in these dishwasher drawers. I have one of these and basically what you'll find is if you do more than two teaspoons or even up to that first line there on the inside, you'll end up getting just a lot of powder sediment here because it doesn't actually need any more than that. It's a really small space. It's not like the big ones where you're washing one whole large amount of dishes or one whole large dishwasher in one go. You need a really small amount. Okay, so we'll take a look over here at the dials. Sorry, at the display. So this was off a second ago, but basically to power it on, you just tap this button here. Uh, and then you'll see that the top drawer is highlighted and you can move and maneuver between the top drawer and the bottom drawer simply by clicking this button. So now it's on the bottom drawer, now it's on the top drawer. This button here allows you to navigate through the menu. Okay, so you'll see as I press this button, I'm on the top drawer and I'm choosing a heavy, a normal, eco, fast, delicate or rinse cycle. So we'll just put that back on normal and then I'll select the bottom drawer and I'll move that from rinse across to normal as well. Okay, once you do that, all you need to do is hit the plus, sorry, the play key here. Now, when you click that, that's going to start the wash and you'll see that that's on. To pause the wash, you would just tap that again and it's actually paused. That will just keep beeping at you now though because you've started a wash cycle and you've paused the wash cycle so that every few seconds, it's actually gonna to continue to beep at you. So the only way to get rid of that is to actually turn it off. So I just pressed and hold, Press and hold for three seconds and that will turn the whole dishwasher off. Turning the dishwasher on and then press and hold to turn it off. Okay, so on, navigating through, selecting your cycle using the arrows across and the play to start. Now, if you need to child lock this, if you have little people in the kitchen that are gonna come and constantly turn this on, that'll drive you nuts, mine do. All you need to do is press and hold these two buttons together. So when you do that, you'll notice it's going to activate this little red padlock that's a child lock. Again, you've got to press and hold and it's usually for twice as long to turn it off. So two or three seconds to activate the child lock, about six seconds to deactivate the child lock. Okay, it's as simple as that. And then to turn the dishwasher back off again, I'm just gonna put this back to normal cycle so that it's ready to go. Press and hold to turn off again. If you've got any questions, please reach out to us.